Lucky, are you enjoying camping so far? Hi everyone, welcome back to another camping vlog. Today I'm here at Cultus Lake, specifically the Delgrove campgrounds. I'm super excited to be here because it is my first camping experience of this spring and summer. And I am blessed with this really sunny weather today. Both today and tomorrow, it's gonna be highs of 24 or 25 degrees. So it's gonna be really nice to be out on the water. I am right next to the beach trail over here. And I also brought my paddle board. So hopefully I could get out on the water and really soak in the beautiful scenery that is of Cultus Lake. I actually was able to snag the spot here. So this is D24 and initially I had D2 which is actually not a very good spot. When I actually got here and checked it out I realized it was right next to the driveway so it's pretty noisy and it's right next to the bathroom which is like not the best you know scene uh, to be near. So I you know paid an extra six dollar change fee and then I moved to this spot and I am so much happier. So now I'm going to have everything set up and I will take you guys along. new sleeping bag that I got. The one that I used previously, the one that is dark blue, I've actually had that for I want to say 15 years. So it's definitely time to upgrade to a new sleeping bag. So I'm excited to try this. It is brand new so I am going to let it air out a little bit so that it will be ready for bedtime tonight. Hey guys, so I finally finished setting up and I have to say it was really, really, really hot today. So I was like sweating bullets. But now that I have everything set up, I'm going to have my first drink. I'm just really looking forward to it because I think it's going to be super refreshing. The one I got is the White Claw Strawberry. Hey everyone, so I am finished setting everything up and I took some time to relax a little bit because I was sweating profusely and I needed some time to cool down. But now that I'm, you know, relaxed and everything has been set up, I just wanted to give you a quick tour inside the tent. So I have two major tents. The one is like the blackout one, the blue one that I use when it's like raining or cold outside. And then this one I use more for warmer weather just because it's more transparent with the mesh. There are cover-ups, so on this side I did use a cover-up because it was pretty close to the neighbors. So there is some flexibility in terms of like covering things up, but otherwise, you know, you're out in nature, you want to be exposed to the elements, so I prefer to have the mesh just the way it is, reduce the amount of cover-ups. So anyways, so this is my Pentagon tent and I'll give you guys a quick tour. So starting on this side is this wooden shelf that I got in Korea which comes in handy a lot of the times for storage and then I just have my little campfire area outside with my chair and I put some wood there just to kind of put things in its spot. This is my sleeping area. I'm actually still on the fence of whether I'm going to be sleeping out here tonight or in the car but I've just set everything up and then you know there's Lucky. <laughs> And then this is the table 
this is really nice because it's super spacious and I could you know, put a lot of things on top of it versus my other table which is tiny and it can barely fit anything and then I just have these uh, boxes here this has like my food and then this is all my kitchen gadgets this is all my tent setup things like fire starter hammer etc another kind of kitchen area with all the spices etc and then i have the water pump and the sink and that's it so i guess it's pretty simple but it has everything that i need and i find that it's very convenient and then this is the door i have it closed right now because there's actually so many bugs right now like it's actually shocking so yeah so that's a quick tour of my area and it is full-on summer guys it's like really really hot outside there's like mosquitoes there's a lot of bugs out and i have this bracelet on so i have this one and then i have one on my ankle that is because i am the main target for mosquitoes i i don't know what it is but mosquitoes love me nobody else might get mosquito bites but i would have like five on me and so i have to be super careful because i think i'm also allergic to it because they like swell up I need to have like antihistamine pill to have the inflammation calm down so I think I am allergic to mosquito bites so I need to be super careful and even though it's not summer it's like supposed to be early spring I think in May I definitely sense mosquitoes out and I think I got a few bites just like walking lucky in my neighborhood so I am assuming there are going to be mosquitoes in the forest so I've got the bracelets on so th these are really nifty because you don't need to spray yourself with DEET, which is basically like chemicals and it's like bad for your skin. This is infused with a scent that mosquitoes don't like. So I have one here and then one on my ankle just to kind of even the smell out. And with this, I don't need to spray things on my body. I just need to have the bracelet. And the bracelet actually lasts for seven days. So it's not like a one-time use. You could actually use it for an extended period of time just as long as you like put it in like an enclosed ziploc bag when you're not using it but yeah hopefully this will help and i'm not going to have any mosquito bites because otherwise that's not going to be a very fun experience if i'm itchy and like scratchy and everything but anyways so i'm just going to take it a little bit easy and then what i'm going to do is i brought my paddle board so i'm going to take it out into the beach area and do some paddle boarding. So you guys probably can't see me that well right now, but I am going to start setting up the paddle board so that I could actually go in the beach. So let's do that. So I'm currently on the paddle board right now with Lucky. He's just enjoying his time. It is so hot today. I thought it would be highs of 24, but it's actually 28 slash 29 degrees right now. So I'm sweltering and yeah, I'm just, I have the, this, uh, shirt on just to kind of cover myself up or else I think I'm gonna get sunburned but other than that I mean it's super peaceful 
the water's super still, there's no wind, so it's like the perfect day to go uh, paddle boarding. I'm so glad I brought it because last minute I kind of just like put it in there. But yeah, I almost didn't bring it and I almost didn't have this experience and it's so peaceful out today. everyone so it is currently 6 9 p.m. and I think I'm going to get started on dinner now that you know it's later in the evening it is getting a little bit chillier in the shade with the Sun that's about to set in a few hours so yeah I thought might as well get dinner ready and just cozy up and then when I have some extra time when it gets later in the evening I plan to sort of fire so I have firewood and I could just you know look at fire and relax so yeah let's get started on dinner so for today's menu, I have sort of like a mixture of things. I brought uh, salmon, uh, broccoli, some mushrooms, and then I also brought some pizza pops uh, just for, you know, emergency if I'm still hungry. But these are also really easy to make, so you just, you know, warm them up. So I, I think I'm going to have this as sort of like a snack later as well. Before we start cooking, I'm just going to have my beer. So this is a Budweiser 740 milliliters. This is my last drink of tonight. I do plan to go to the winery tomorrow after checkout, so I'm really excited for that. So I just thought, you know, I would have two beers today and then tomorrow I would have wine, so I'm not going to go too crazy. So I'm just going to open this, there we go. Now that we have our beer, we can now start cooking. Okay, so start cooking. So I just brought a steamed broccoli and I'm going to cook it one more time. And I have some mushrooms that I'm going to cut up, put here. And then my salmon that comes conveniently in the Ziploc bag. So I'm just relaxing a little bit right now after dinner, just finishing up my beer and maybe snack on the popcorn, it's caramel and cheddar. So I'm going to snack on this, but usually what I like to do is after dinner just relax a little bit and just kind of like lie in, in the bed. And right now the sun is setting a little bit earlier because of the mountains. In the meantime, I'm just going to check out this amazing view and then I'm going to snack on this caramel popcorn. I love carrying around these uh, sanitizer wipes, super handy when you're camping. Lucky. 
know for you. So it is currently 8.30, so the sun has set and I want to get the fire started before it gets completely pitch black and I have a feeling that it's going to get pretty cool tonight. So I think the fire will definitely help. Let me stack the wood and then start a fire. Good morning everyone it is the next day and i think it's almost 8 a.m um, i did get up a little earlier and did a little bit of cleanup but i did end up sleeping in the car last night and i'm so happy that i did because it got pretty cold during the night and i think if it if i was out here i would have been freezing and so i set everything up in the car i didn't get a chance to film because it was pretty late and i was very very tired from the day so i just slept in the car it was super cozy and then and I got up this morning and then I just moved everything out back here so I don't know if you remember this is the other sleeping bag that I had for 10 years and I actually like think this is like pretty comfortable the other one is nice too but this is like just more comfortable to use every day I think so I just got this out and Lucky really likes this one as well so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna start breakfast we're gonna have a very simple breakfast and then I think I'm going to clean everything up and pack everything away and then when I have a few hours left before checkout I'm going to do paddle boarding one last time and really soak in the view and then all I have to do is just pack up the paddle board and then we're going to be heading out to two more locations in this Haltus Lake area that I'm really looking forward to so I'll take you guys along. Okay. Have your water first. So now that Lucky has ate, I'm going to start on my breakfast. First is first, I'm going to sanitize my hands. So the menu that we have for breakfast today is just going to be a simple avocado toast. And also I have this one sweet potato that I baked in the fire yesterday. So I brought three sweet potatoes. I ended up having two yesterday and then I saved one for today if I I thought breakfast was too light and then obviously we're going to be having coffee as well so I'll be getting that prepped later but let's get this started and then just some butter and then I have my egg and avocado over here like this Tiny little spatula, which is perfect for the egg. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this avocado ready. And then this is my coffee. This is like the one that I got in Japan. It's super easy because it's already in hand drip form, so all you have to do is pour water over it. So I'm gonna put this over my cup and then I'm gonna boil some water in this little pot here. So this is my water pump, super easy. All you have to do is press the button and then just let it pump out the water. Maybe this much. So I like to mash my avocados just so it's a little bit easier to eat. I'm just gonna mash it with my fork like this. And then for the Seasoning. I'm just going to put a little bit more salt and pepper, that's all you really need. And then I'm going to put my egg on top of one of them. And I'm going to put it on top of this one, this one. And that's my avocado toast with egg. 
So I'm just going to transfer this onto my plate here and then get my coffee ready while I eat. So the thing about this is it gets a little bit hot. It's manageable. So this I'm going to put down here on the floor. And then I'm going to boil my water now. So I just wanted to show you my breakfast. I mean, it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's avocado toast. And then just boiling my coffee here so that I can pour it into my cup here. In the meantime, I'm going to eat, devour this breakfast. Let's start with my egg one. I think it would have been perfect if I had one avocado toast and then one with just jam, something sweet with my coffee, but you know, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so the water is boiling, so I'm going to turn this off now. Okay, the issue is the handle is quite hot. Ooh, that's hot. And that's my cup of coffee. Wow, it's actually perfect. Sandwich my avocado toast. You had your breakfast. So I'm going to slowly start packing up now. Um, it is getting closer to 9, so I'm hoping I'll get everything packed up by 9.30 and then I will have some hours to the water where I can paddleboard and then hopefully, you know, wrap everything up before 11 a.m., which is the checkout time. So let's, let's pack up. guys so i'm just wrapping up i just have the tent left over i ended up changing because it was starting to like warm up a little bit and i was getting a little bit sweaty so i'm going to finish up packing the tent and then head over to the beach for one last paddleboard
Hey guys, so I finally made it out paddle boarding and the sun is shining through. I'm lucky here with me. He's becoming very comfortable paddle boarding and it's just super, super peaceful here and amazing weather today. Super calm. So amazing today. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this one last paddle board and then I'm going to head out into the city of Yero and do some fun activities there. Hey guys, so I'm currently at Moose Ice Cream Shop. It's mainly outdoors and you order your ice cream over there. But it's cute because it has this little like backyard area where I could be with Lucky because a lot of establishments don't accept dogs inside, even on their patio. So I'm just going to be drinking slash eating my affogato, which is a vanilla ice cream with espresso poured over it. So I'm going to have this and then Ripley's uh, winery opens at 12. So it's going to be open in about an hour. So I'm just going to head over there in the meantime. I'm pretty sad that the cafe that I was looking forward to, which had amazing cinnamon bun and coffee that I visited last summer is now closed. So there's actually no other coffee shop in the city of Euro, which is unfortunate. So, but in the meantime, I'm glad I was able to snack this spot and just enjoy some time outside. Another touch of fool's gold, a lost rush season. 